Okay, so good morning everyone. Today we will continue with our musculoskeletal presentations. We'll start on the metabolic, hematologic, and other arthropathies, and it will be presented by Dr. Adalal. Dr. Adalal. Good morning, my teacher. Good morning, my colleague. Uh, we will continue our uh, subject uh, of metabolic, hematologic, and other arthropathy. Uh, first, we have hemochromatosis. Uh, hemochromatosis arthropathy affects 50% of those with hemochromatosis uh, caused by deposition of iron and uh, calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystal uh, uh, disease. Uh, in the hand, it affects mainly metacarbophalangeal uh, joint, mainly metacarbal head. So, there will be uh, there will be peak or uh, hook like osteophyte in the metacarpal head for differential diagnosis of this we have hemochromatosis which will be diffuse affecting all the metacarpal head or cbbd which will mainly be localized affect mainly second and third metacarpal head and uh, third differential is acromegaly. We can differentiate them by uh, looking for other association for each disease. For acromegaly, it is excess growth hormone in skeletally mature patient, mostly from uh, pituitary adenoma. For the radiological finding in the skull, we can see the calvarial thickening of the inner table mainly. We have frontal posing, enlargement of the paranasal sinus, especially the frontal sinus, and enlarged cell torsica. We can also see the cause for it, like here, two, three adenoma, and prognathism, which is enlargement of the jaw, uh, with gap between the teeth. Uh, acromegaly characteristically cause in the first joint space widening in the early disease because of cartilage hypertrophy. But later, secondary to OA changes, it will cause narrowing of the joint space. We have certain uh, signs uh, which is caused by acromegaly, like spade sign, which is hypertrophied, uh, terminal phalangeal tuft. And uh, for the cause of the acromegaly by coronal T1 post contrast MR, we can see here there is uh, well-defined hypo-dense uh, uh, lesion in the pituitary. Uh, it's characteristically, if it is microadenoma, it will not enhance uh, in the early dynamic uh, uh, study. But maybe in the delay can show enhancement when the pituitary uh, degrees in uh, or wash her out uh, her enhancement. It's enhancement. It's enhancement. Uh, another sign, which is heel pad sign, uh, normally uh, it's less than 25 millim, but uh, in acromegaly it increase. Uh, another subject, which is uh, amyloid arthropathy. It is rare, non-inflammatory arthropathy. There is uh, two types, which is primary systemic amyloid is associated with monoclonal plasma cell dyscrasia and secondary uh, amyloidosis is associated with a chronic infection or inflammation. The characteristic clinical sign is called shoulder bad sign, which is bulky soft tissue nodules in the shoulder superimposed uh, upon atrophic muscles. Another entity which is very important of amyloid, it uh, caused by accumulation of beta-2 microglobulin in patient on a chronic dialysis. Uh, for this patient, uh, for example, which is uh, dialysis-related amyloid, uh, we have coronal T1-weighted image. This is hypo-intense material, essentially uh, filling the joint space and encroaching on the carpal bonds. We can see here some erosions in the radial and ulnar uh, uh, com uh, compartment. Uh, this is uh, in a case of a uh, uh, patient with renal failure. We should think of uh, dialysis-related amyloid. Another, which is uh, AP radiograph of the hand, there is a classic amyloid. This is distributed in the distal radius and all the carpal bones. 
and there is a large cyst in the scaphoid bone. This uh, cyst can have many differential according to patient presentation. In chronic dialysis, we may think in amyloid. If he has no history, we may think in ganglion cyst. Uh, if he has hyperparathyroidism, we may think of brown tumor. And uh, we can, uh, if it is uh, due to methylene fracture, we can uh, uh, say it's secondary uh, degenerative uh, subcontrol subcont cyst. Another entity, which is ochronosis. Ochronosis uh, is the connective tissue manifestation of alkaptonuria. Clinically, there is black urine, but the specific finding is intervertebral uh, disc calcification at every level with disc space narrowing. For the differential diagnosis of intervertebral disc calcification, we have many. First of them, degenerative disease and post-operative and traumatic CBBD, hypervitaminosis, ankylosis, hyperparathyroidism. But characteristically, the ochronosis cause central disc space calcification. The other cause uh, not uh, central but peripheral, mainly, yani all the disc space. Uh, another entity which is uh, hemophilic arthropathy, X-linked inherited disorder, uh, mostly affect knees, elbows, and ankles. There is uh, recurrent heme arthrosis causing synovial hyperatrophy and hyperemia. This hyperemia causes epiphyseal enlargement and uh, early fusion. So there will be uh, short uh, limbs. Uh, the deposition of iron in synovium cause an increased soft tissue density around the joint. Methylene for the digit or for any site uh, causing it mainly cause early fusion if clearly immature patient and the limp uh, will be uh, shorter than the other. Characteristically, uh, in the knee, it causes uh, widened intercondylar notch and increased epiphyseal uh, uh, end. But this will be easily missed if not compared with the other limb. Uh, here we have differential diagnosis for this epiphyseal enlargement and the widening of intercondylar notch, which is juvenile idiopathic arthritis. We will talk about it later. And in the elbow, characteristically, there is enlarged radial head and widened uh, trochlear notch. I told you that this will be missed if you not compare it with the other limb. Hemophilia can cause pseudotumor, which is benign entity, uh, lytic lesion, well defined with sclerotic margin in any uh, location. Here in the thigh, there is heterogeneous mass, which is pseudotumor of a known case of hemophilia. There is different stages of uh, bleeding uh, in T1 contrast, uh, T1, uh, uh, T1 and T2 uh, thigh MRI coronal study. The other entity which is similar in some way to hemophilia, which is called juvenile idiopathic arthritis. It is a spectrum of related chronic inflammatory arthropathy affect mainly children under 16 years. So it is uh, of uh, skeletally immature patient have two uh, classification mono or palsy articular, which can co affect mainly one joint or few joints like knees, elbows, ankles, and wrist. The polyarticular, which is systemic disease, affect multiple joints, including hand, feet, and cervical spine, in addition to joint affected by first start. So this polyarticular may resemble rheumatoid arthritis in its uh, radiological features. The imaging hallmark are abnormal bone growth uh, length or morphology, also due to hyperemia. The abnormal morphology result from epiphyseal overgrowth and enlargement, uh, ballooning of the ends of the bone, so it will be similar to hemophilia. The affected joints show premature skeletal maturation and physical fusion. This is uh, uh, bilateral hand uh, AP X-ray, polyarticular uh, juvenile rheumatoid uh, or idiopathic arthritis. Uh, it show characteristic radiological features similar to rheumatoid, like erosions here and 
here or, and also there is a soft tissue thickening like here periosteal reaction which is more in uh, idiopathic uh, in juvenile idiopathic than uh, rheumatoid arthritis and there is uh, some fusion or uh, decreased joint space here in the carpal bones it is similar to rheumatoid arthritis this is normal radiograph of a patient uh, eight years old girl but when we do MRI of the patient which is coronal contrast in hand we can see that there is fast uh, and fast uh, suppressed we can see fat here suppressed. fat suppressed we can here uh, see bone marrow edema and there is enhancement of the synovium between the carbo ulnar joint this means active radio ulnar this is uh, mean uh, active uh, inflama inflammatory juvenile rheumatoid arthritis which was occult by the radiograph uh, we said before that hemophilia and juvenile rheumatoid arthritis cause inf uh, physical enlargement and intercondylar notch widening and enlargement of the radial uh, head and widened uh, or deep trochlear notch in both hemophilia and juvenile here we have the uh, uh, here we have the trochlear notch and this here is the notch. yes hi all this yes the, the part of the ulna looks like yes the, yes okay c shape this is a trochlear notch so it's large yes and radial head also large in addition to the radio it's yes right. Uh, so the differential diagnosis mainly will be hemophilia and juvenile uh, idiopathic uh, arthritis. Uh, in the hip also it causes uh, similar to rheumatoid arthritis, symmetric joint space narrowing and uh, protrusio, uh, protrusio acetabuli and uh, gracile which means cylinder shaft of the femur. Uh, ankylosis occur in wrist and cervical spine more than the rheumatoid arthritis so when we see ankylosis we have two main differential diagnoses in a child which is juvenile idiopathic arthritis and some syndrome called Klippel-Field syndrome this picture which is lateral uh, cervical spine x-ray showing the fusion of the facet joints in multiple levels uh, not uh, segmented and uh, see also the narrow and small vertebral body in the same level this is seen mainly in juvenile rheumatoid arthritis another entity which is a special variant of juvenile rheumatoid arthritis called still disease it is similar to juvenile but affect children younger than five years with other systemic uh, symptoms like uh, fever, rash, adenopathy, precarditis, mild arthralgia. So later when the patient didn't catch up by the physician, he will develop juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, the typical feature when he grow. We said that the differential diagnosis for the ankylosis in cervical spine in a child to juvenile and uh, Klippel-Field syndrome. So what's the Klippel-Field syndrome? Klippel-Field syndrome, it's failure of cervical segmentation, so fusion of the vertebra. Two or more is enough for the diagnosis. The radiologic feature of uh, it is fusion of the either uh, facet joint or vertebra this is incomplete but this is complete fusion of c2 and uh, c3 posterior element there is another sign for this syndrome uh, called wasp waist sign uh, wasp waist sign which is degrees ap uh, diameter here degrees ap diameter ap diameter of the vertebral body uh, resembling the waist of the wasp uh, this can be uh, guide us that the cause of the fusion is congenital not acquired because in acquired fusion of the vertebra it will be there's bulging of the vertebral body not uh, having waist uh, sign 
Another uh, sign for the clipped feet syndrome called omovertebral bone. This is the omovertebral bone, which is uh, be between the scapula and the cervical spine. This is volume render CT, posterior review. In addition to high riding scapula? Yes, uh, sprinkle. Sprinkle shoulder. Yes, sprinkle shoulder. High association between omovertebral uh, bone and uh, sprinkle uh, deformity of the scapula is uh, uh, will not. Uh, another entity called Charcot arthropathy, which is destructive form of arthritis caused by neurosensory deficit. The peripheral neuropathy of diabetes is implicated most frequently and typically affect ankle and uh, foot. But in upper limb, we should suspect syringomyelia to be the cause of Charcot arthropathy in the shoulder. There are two forms, hypertrophic, which is most common, and atrophic, which is most commonly in the shoulder. The hypertrophic, we have the 5D, the well known for the charcoal, which is dislocation, destruction, preservation of the density, debris, and disorganization. So, uh, uh, at this uh, pictures, we will see uh, hypertrophic pattern in the midfoot. There is uh, no distinction of the bones, debris, uh, dislocation here, hypertrophic uh, uh, pattern in the mid uh, foot and hind foot both. Um, the another entity which is uh, uh, called atrophic variant of neuropathic arthropathy, it is most commonly affect the shoulder. We should we remember that in the upper limb, if we see charcot arthropathy of the shoulder, we may think of syringomyelia, so cervical spine MRI is recommended. The sign of charcot arthropathy in the shoulder is uh, humeral head resorption with sharp uh, surgical end of the uh, shaft of the uh, humerus. Uh, to determine if there is osteomyelitis superimposed on a patient having diabetic foot with charcot arthropathy, we should uh, see first if there is defect in the foot or sinus tract. We follow the sinus tract to the bone. The cuboid bone is the most important to see in, uh, in patient with diabetes to see if there is osteomyelitis or, or uh, bony changes. The signal intensity in bone marrow is important. So we track the sinus or the defect or the ulcer in the foot going to the bone and see the bone marrow of this bone. In T1, if we see abnormal signal uh, in the bone marrow with the ulcer, this is more likely to be osteomyelitis. Also in a stair, if, this, if we see the abnormal signal, uh, signal with the ulcer, we, call, we, we must think of osteomyelitis. But if we see the abnormal signal in the bone marrow with no defect in the bone, we may think that this is active. No defect in the skin. No defect in the skin. We may think that this is active charcot. So we we should differentiate active charcot from osteomyelitis. Both will have bone marrow changes, but the osteomyelitis should have defect in the skin. Sorry. Yes. Uh, last subject, which is uh, sarcoidosis. It is a multi-systemic granulomatous disease. The bony manifestation are rare. So in the hand, you may see lace-like lytic lesion in the middle and distal phalanges. Uh, sarcoidosis may manifest as acute or chronic polyarthritis, but ankle involvement, if especially bilateral or associated with erythema nodosum, should raise suspicion of sarcoidosis and prompt chest radiograph. So what we see in chest radiograph of sarcoidosis? Yani one, two, three side. Yes, uh, bilateral symmetrical hyaluronic adenopathy and right uh, paratracheal uh, thickening. Uh, evaluation of the hand 
and in summary, we should think of A, B, C, D, E, S, which is alignment, bone mineral density, uh, bone ankylosis, bone creation, in C, calcification, cartilage space, indeed uh, distribution in E, erosion, and in S, soft tissue swelling. So, what's this? Yes, very good. What's the... Differential. But we said that the in uh, it, it is central, mainly central. This uh, picture. We have weak like osteophyte, but we will continue the, we show chondrocalcinosis in the triangular fibrocartilage, erosions. So this is? C. Yes, very good. Cartilage calcification is consistent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good, good job. Excellent.